while introducing this letter substitution cipher, let's have a look on this short chat between Jack and Mary. But wait a minute, what's the language used? This doesn't seem clear at all. After several investigation and analysis, we found out that the messages exchanged referred to hello from Jack and hey from Mary. And this transformation was through a cipher algorithm called Rock 13. So the big question is, how did Rock 13 transform hello to this text and hey to that one? Now let's explain the issue from Jack's perspective. When Jack is observing the letters to form his message, he notices that the sneaky Bob has the access to check on the chat between the two ends. For that, Jack and Mary decided to use Rock 13 when talking to each other. And what Jack will basically be doing is that when he wants to choose a letter for forming his message, eventually the letter sent is the letter away from the chosen one by 13 position. And because of that, when Jack sent hello before, the first letter was U instead of H. And in this way, the sneaky Bob will completely be lost. Now in conclusion, Rot 13, rotate by 13 places, is a simple letter substitution cipher that replaces a letter with the 13th letter after it in the alphabet. We're going to be talking about the Virginia Cypher. Suppose you have a message, and that message is for chump. In order to encrypt that message, you're going to need a key, which is lock in our case. The problem is that our message is 9 letters, and the key is just 4. To solve that issue, we're going to need a key stream, simply by repeating our key as many times as needed. So it's going to become lock lock L, which is 9 letters. Now we can proceed with our process. To move forward from here, we're going to be using the Virginia table. Every letter in our plain text represents the rows, and every letter in our key string represents the columns. So for each letter, we're going to do an intersection between rows and columns. Where they land on the table is our new letter for the cipher text. Let's dig deep into the explanation of the cipher. We will start with the first letter of the plain text, which is V, and the first letter of the key string, which is L. Let's project those two letters on the Virginia table. As we can see, we got letter G, which is the first letter in our encrypted message. Let's do the same steps to get the second encrypted letter. We got O in the plain text and U in the key string. We'll project those two letters on the Virginia table. And as we can see, we got I as a result. We proceed with those same steps until we get the full encrypted message. 